What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. It's been a while. Um, yeah, so I just went through something really painful. So first off, I want to say I grinded to level 15 and 20 on my things um, because Nidoran actually evolves at level um, 16, and we only need 98 experience. So yeah, I decided to do that. Um, but I had to make up like a lot of progress like before Brock because I forgot to save apparently last time so yeah that was fun but anyway um yeah I just want to say I'm sorry for being gone for so long with this LP but you know I was finishing up school and yeah I just didn't have time so yeah um no I have no, I got plenty of time so for that I'm gonna do like two or three parts today it'll be uploaded and Hopefully two today, one tomorrow, and we'll be doing a, a bunch of this next week. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be through Cerulean by the end of this weekend. So let's get so let's get started with this recording session. All right. So, as I said, yeah, um, Nidoran's about to evolve. It evolves at 16, and the level I have decided to evolve my Nidoran at will be 22 because that's when it learns Horn Attack, which is really the last um, you know, good move I need. And I think, yeah, we're going to be evolving right here. So, yep, yeah, turn it into Nidorino. So that's a good start to the episode. Yeah, it, it, it took a little bit of time because I had to regrind and everything. So, yeah, that, that kind of sucked. So we got Bullet Seed right there. So, you know, if you pick Bulbasaur, you can use that. Anyway, we're going to fight this guy with his Weedle. Um, and just some announcements. Yeah, I'm going to be... Um, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of this game, as well as some Smash Flash 2 beta. I uploaded a video of that yesterday, so go check that out. I'll put the link to that video in the description as well. Because, um, you know, and just just go go give them a cloud gaming some love, because that game is actually awesome. So, you know, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out, because it's a great game. So, anyway, we're, gonna, um, we're going through Mount Moon. I like to call it Zubat Cave. For obvious reasons, if you've ever played Fire Red, you know why this place is called um, Zoo. You know why people call this place Zubat Cave, or at least I do. Anyway, kicking the crap out of um, kicking the crap out of Berkeley Fairy, and we take out last Iris. So let's keep going. We are going to explore the rest of this floor before we go. Well, actually, we can go down that ladder in a minute, but I just want to go down here because there's an item, as well as a guy with a Magnemite. I actually thought about using Magnemite for this one because Magneton. Even though it's not a fully evolved Pokemon, well, it was actually in this gen, but you know, it got an evolution of Mag it got an evolution of Magnezone in like Gen 4, I'm pretty sure. But um Yeah, I just like Mag Mag Magneton Magneton's pretty good. It has really nice special attack. Not much speed, but that doesn't really matter that much in game. It's actually pretty it's pretty good in lower tiers. Um I'm gonna be doing I've kinda taken a break from showdown. As you've seen, I haven't uploaded a Showdown video in, for, in a while, and it's just because I've played, I've, I've been playing Showdown, like, I've been on the website, but, like, I've had the worst luck lately, and I just, I don't know, Pokemon has really just been aggravating me lately, like, I, I just, I, I mean, my luck is awful. And the phone is ringing, I will be right back. Yeah, sorry for that cut. Um, someone was calling me on the phone, so let's continue. As I was saying, if I got interrupted, the rare candy. I'm gonna fight um this giant bug bug catcher here. This Caterpie, see his pack. Can get through this. Only relatively easy. And he's like, ooh, poison sting. They give us a stab poison move. I'll put that over. Oh, your focus energy. I don't think I'm all physical, so I'll get rid of focus energy because I don't really need it. Oh, I usually don't try to depend on crits in this game. Metapod. Alright, we're going to go with that peck. <clears throat> and I was thinking, I might also um, leave a straw poll to see what my next team member is. If I do, you'll see it in the description. I'm not sure yet though, because, um, I don't know, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I know, making a straw poll, lots of work, right? <laughs> I don't know, because, but I'm lazy, so, you know, that's a lot of work for me. 
But anyway, ooh, last item. What is this? An escape rope. Not bad, not bad. If you need to go heal really quickly, that would be useful. But yeah, we're gonna go down this ladder. Um, so yeah, I might I might put a straw pole, maybe. If I'm feeling not lazy, which is rare, especially in summer break, because on break I, I am the laziest person outside of playing video games. So anyway, um yeah, we're running to our first rocket grunt. I think this is the first one. Yeah, this is definitely the first one. And these rocket grunts are actually um, a little bit troublesome. They have some pretty strong things, at least for this point in the game. And the sandstream might mess me up. Ooh, never mind. We got that poison point going. Yep. But double kicks are pretty good. Is a pretty good move, so it'll pretty much carry us. We got a Rattata. Not scared of that. Just gonna double kick it. Ooh, we didn't even need the second kick. Freaking lavish over here. Too powerful with it. Let's go. I'm gonna hit him with the peck. Uh, supersonic. Ain't playing Russian roulette today, so I'm just gonna switch out. Go into young OG. We're gonna hit him with an ember and take him out. Let's go. We 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 we, we good. We we get in the hood. I blew it. Just don't drop the lift key like the other guy. You dropped the lift key. That's like actually my favorite rocket run. Actually, yeah. You know what? Question of the day. Who is your favorite Team Rocket member? Personally, mine has to be, um, I don't know, it's hard. Or, well, not your favorite Team Rocket, but who is your favorite um, Team Villain like from the series, like Team Galactic, Team Rocket, Team Plasma, you know, all those types of teams. Personally, my favorite one has to be, um, well, it's more of a tie. It's a tie between... Um, Cyrus from Team Galactic and N from Team Plasma. I, I I love Cyrus. Like he he's such an interesting he was such an interesting character to me. Well, he was until the end of the game. I'm not gonna spoil it. Though Platinum's like what? It's twenty seventeen. I don't know how old Platinum is. It's I'm gonna say it's like six or seven years old at this point. It's still an amazing game. Like you if you haven't played Pokemon Platinum, play it, please. It's it's so good. Like, so good. But, yeah, my favorite team villain is probably... Oh, I didn't want to go down there. I wanted to go right here. Um, yeah, it's probably Cyrus or N. N, he just was really interesting to me the entire time. <clears throat> my most hated one, I, I didn't really... I, I kind of hated Lysander. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, Lysander, he was so... Bled. Like, it, like, 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 when I was playing X and Y... At first, it seemed like he was going somewhere. I was like, yeah, he's kind of interesting. And then, you know, his ambitions came in. I was like, wow. Freaking, you're an original villain. But honestly, if, if we're talking about who's an original villain, Pokemon is pretty, pretty unoriginal. Like, I don't think there's really been any, like, really original characters as far as, like, the villain stereotype in Pokemon. I mean, it's fine, though, because Pokemon was never really about the story, though. I think in the recent games, they've sort of um, expanded it a little bit more into their storytelling. And they've had some pretty interesting plots, I'll say. Well, interesting as far as Pokemon is concerned, because, like, this isn't, like, this game is not, um, uh, what's a story-driven game? I don't know. I can't think of any really, like, good story-driven games off the top of my head right now. Mainly because I haven't played any lately. Looking at you game industry. Give me something good. Now I'm going to get a million comments telling me, yeah, you should have played this game. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah maybe I should have, but I'm lazy and I like Pokemon. <laughs> You're probably right. Anyway, we got another zoo back. I'm already starting to get sick of these and I haven't even commented on it until just now. And we get our Moonstone. That will be useful in two levels when we try to evolve another one. Something just fell. Everything must interrupt me this commentary session. I swear to God. Anyway, I'm gonna go right here for the Zubat. Right here, and we have the second rocket grunt. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. You, um, you get found. You, you noob. Yeah, take that. You get found. Bruh, bruh. Anyway, he has a Neckens. I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Yeah, hurry up. I'm almost out of pack PP. I'm running out of PP. I might, I might use that escape rope though. I think we may be able to. 
make it to Cerulean because there's not that many more trainers that well I'll need to use Peck on. It's just that a lot of the things in here are poison types. So I didn't really use um what's it's poison stinger double kick. I really bad I have some pretty terrible type coverage right now. But anyway, we should be good. We should be fine. Because we're gonna go through here. Uh, another thing I can peck. Well I guess I could have technically poison stinged it. But you know. Meh. Big point. We're gonna I don't, I think there I don't think there's actually an item up here. Like I love how I'm acknowledging it, but I'm still about to go up here anyway. But yeah, this ledge always tricks me whenever I play Fire Red or just Gen 3. Oh no wait, there is an item. Go. Oh. <laughs> Gia did. Gia did. Go right here. And we are gonna run through here. It could be bad news. Well, bad news bears, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, he went for that quick attack, ooh, one kick, all we need, one punch, I actually love one punch man, it's like one of my favorite animes, also, I didn't even notice that, um, Nidorino had overtaken, um, Charmeleon in levels, so, you know, we might, we'll, we'll put Charmeleon, we'll put Charmeleon in the lead, because, the way I like to play Pokemon, I like to play it, um, I like to keep my levels really even throughout the game, I don't know, it's just like my OCD, like I can't have something that's like four levels higher, unless I'm like specifically trying to evolve it and know that I just want to evolve it now, then I'll just like keep something out front, but usually I just shift level, I just shift my team around every time I, they level up so I can keep my levels pretty even, so I don't have any discrepancies as far as um, fighting certain types because the one type it's weak to isn't weak on my team if that makes any sense probably doesn't but yeah that's just how I play the game I know there's some people who will like train something like five levels higher than be like oh yeah um maybe I should train this go back to training this thing now that that always annoys me especially when I'm watching playthroughs of people playing games I'm just like train the other thing you're going into a grass gym and your flying type is like six levels lower than your um water type starter you freaking scumbag <laughs> i don't know that's just me. It, that that always triggers me i and like i'll do it like if i do that it's on it's intentional like i'm telling you right now like if i train something and don't switch it out like next level like i'm gonna keep charmeleon in the front because um nidoran's low on pp and because they're the same level i don't i don't really mind keeping it out front for another whole level but once I get to level 22, then I'm going to go back to training Nidoran. I just shift my levels like that. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Anyway, we're actually coming up on the end of the cave. So we're going to we're gonna fight young Grimer right here. <clears throat> Use Harden. We'll just Ember it again. We'll take it out. Coughing. And actually, now that I think about it, do I even need to give um, what's-his-face? That's interesting. Uh, oh, I got poison. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I was thinking of something, but um, never mind. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Um, so we're gonna take out this Voltorb. Oh, I don't really like that poison status at all. But we are almost out of the cave, and I think I have an antidote. If I don't, well then I can. Yeah, I gotta. Well, no, that's a paralyzed heal. Crap. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> um, oh, this is kind of sucks. Um, I'm just gonna ember. Yeah, all right. Rather the cave. Hey, there's the antidote I was looking for. Not that it really matters now because we're out. I think in Gen 1 you actually fight James and Jesse there. But, um, yeah. Yeah, these are these two guys. This is what I'm, this is what I was thinking about earlier. I was like, do I really want to evolve Nidoran because a Nidorino, I can actually evolve right now and just give it Mega Punch. But I think I'm actually just going to let it get to level 22 and learn Horn Attack. 
you know Mega Punch is better because there's something I might teach Mega Punch to later, and I want to keep that TM open so that guy teaches you Mega Punch and the other one teaches you uh, Mega Kick. Mega Kick sucks, Mega Punch rules. There's the end of that debate. We got Roar. Um, and we have, we have made it to Cerulean, boys. And I'm millions about to die, but I don't care about its happiness that much. Are you kidding me? Really? One step before the um, Pokemon is in it? Feels bad, man. Anyway, you made it to Cerulean, so I will see you guys later.